G'day, Divergence Traders. How are we all doing today? I hope all of you, well, some of you, I guess, so far, have went and watched my weekly time frame setups. That's something that's really golden if you don't want to spend all your time sitting here in front of a computer. But I also want to say, if you do spend a lot of time, uh, you know, from like, say, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning till 11 or 12 every day, you know, it might not seem like a lot. It's only a few hours. But believe me, when you're trading, it can be stressful and it can take a lot out of you. Okay. And that's why you need to go walking or lift some weights a little bit, you know, stretching, moving your arms up and down, moving your legs up and down. I, I just recently bought uh, those two pound weights there, 1.4 kilogram weights you just use to, you know, go up and down with your arms. I've only done it for two days now. It's like muscles are coming back in my arms. And I really, you know, like I, I go walking, you know, quite often and that's all fine and dandy for your legs and your feet and your knees. It doesn't do too much for your shoulders or your arms or whatever, right? So anyway, <clears throat> I've noticed a big difference. I've only done it for two days. And I know it's going to really help me to uh, be more healthy, you know? And that's what you got to be. You got to be healthy. You got to have a sharp mind. You got to have dis discipline and patience, Without discipline and patience, you're not you're not gonna get too far, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's get this going. Looking at the Nasdaq five minute, like always. Okay, now doesn't really look like there's a setup here, does it? Well, there is. There's one. There is one setup here. Let me show you. We'll just take it from the body right over here you can draw it to this one too whichever one a pullback you know a pullback that is lower than the low of the candle you're drawing it from okay all right and we'll go like this and like that right there that's divergence this is a five minute time frame you would have got long right in here right at resistance here at 14,900 and it went up 86 points to the top so that's 86 points potential you definitely could have made some moolah in there now this up here nah it, it turned around too quick if it would have like fiddled fuddled around here for a little while then come back up and put in a double top you know or whatever or a higher high it would have looked good for the to take a sell down here, but didn't do that. But let's go look at the one minute now. And we'll see what it showed. Okay, there was no divergence on the one minute. This is the open right here to buy it going up. But can you see what we have up here? <laughs> we have what we didn't have on the other, on the five minute chart. We got a triple high there, man, or even a 4X. One, two, three, four times, okay? And uh, it would have got you short right in there. Boom. And it would have went down for you. On 100 points, you might as well say. So funny, eh? I've told you this before. How many times you see a move like this or a move like this? And it's 100 points. How is how is it mysteriously add up to 100 points? And not just on one instrument, on all of them. How does that happen? <laughs> I think because it's manipulated. That's how. Okay. Also, I want to show on the way up. So there was no divergence here on the one minute. Say you're trading the one minute. So you wait for a pullback candle like this that closes lower. Uh, specifically, 
if it closed even very close to the low of the candle, even better. Buy it right here on the opening of the next one. Up it goes, 25 points to the pivot. Then we had another one. They sold off the pivot down. Well, on my chart, it says 14900 but doesn't mean that's the price. Because all these brokers have different prices because they want to screw up the retail traders because they trade against them. Now, if you're looking at a futures chart, um, then yeah, you can see what it's bouncing off of. Because right now it's showing a price of 906, 14,906. But I guarantee you, if you look at a futures chart, it'll be a, a totally different price, I tell you. Because it's manipulated by the brokers. The people who, who trade, you know, uh, what do they call them? NFS, I don't know the freaking name right now. CFFs, what the hell do they call them? Anyway, this is the NASDAQ 100 on the Forex, okay? The Forex charts, that's why the prices are different than the real price on the futures charts. I think I told you that before. Okay, let's get back to this now. Anyway, there's your trade there to sell. Down it went. All right, let's look at uh, Dow Jones now. See, we have a low and lower low. But no, there's no trade there. Well, actually there is. We just got to take it from here. A low and a lower low. It's very uh, kind of tricky divisions to see from here to here. See? That's it. Right there and right there. That's divergence, man. Okay? So where did you get in? We, 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 need, we need price to be above the two moving averages, whatever. So if you bought it up here, I, I would suggest buying it somewhere in here. Say let's, we bought it right here. I know this is in hindsight. I know, I know. But it went up to the 33,800 level according to these Forex charts. <laughs> went up 77 points. Okay, then came back down. Let's see if there's a trade up here on the one minute. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, we got a high and a higher high. But yeah, this high is, is higher than this one, so yeah, it's not it's not divergent according to the rules of divergence. Okay, but if you trade the cross down, you know, the, the, the five below the seven, you would have got in here at the pivot, went down 80 points here. Um, hold on. And then we have a pullback here. Yeah, right here. There's a trade right here. right from here down to here something like that that's even lower <laughs> and this one's from this one I just like to draw it from the top but anyway it came down to here there that's where it pretty much lines up you would have got as soon as they smack down the price and close below the two moving averages okay that's where you would have got short right there the opening is candle but look you're only 20 pips away from 33,700 but I think it's a totally different price there so it doesn't matter I don't know um, anyway it went down 114 points as a beauty on the one minute all right okay let's look at the S&P Oh, yeah, there it is. 
Same as the NASDAQ, right there. Right there, it's sloping down. And right here to right here. Yeah. That's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong do that. Okay. Somewhere in here, you would have got long. And up it goes, uh, 14 points on the S&P 500 with a five point stop. And if we look at the one minute closely, just, just to show you quickly, um, Yeah, there's, there's divergence up here. It's like high and higher high. Actually, we need to take it a little bit farther. <laughs> you can make some adjustments. Yes, it's okay to cross through the, the candles. Don't have to draw it to the next, uh, you know, candle that's up here. All right. And the cell would have been there. And actually, there was probably divergence to sell here too, and it went down four points. Anyway, this one did the big one, and it went down 17 points with a five-point stop loss. All right, that is the S&P. la -dee -dee. All right, let's look at oil today, all right? There was divergence on the open of the U.S. session right in here. We just had to draw it from a little bit farther back through the candles right here to the high, okay? Yes, you're allowed to do that. Like, like, like that. Like that, man, like that. Here we go. Right here, sell right here. Boom, stop was uh, 30. This is oil. 32 points was a stop or ticks, whatever you want to freaking call them. Uh, 68 points, it went down. Then we had a low and a lower low, see? But then we had a low and an even lower low. So there's no divergence here off the pivot. But if you did trade the cross up, which is the five crossing up over the seven, you would have got in long here and it went up 91 points or ticks, whatever you want to look at. That was oil. Now we're looking at gold. Okay. Check out gold, man. It was beautiful because... It was a beautiful thing because <laughs> I did this trade today. I did this trade today. Hold on a sec here. And I'm back and I switched to my live account here. Um, just to show you the trade the, the trades that I done today. So I seen the double top right here. It's not perfect. Like it doesn't reach it like this perfectly. Okay, but anyway, you can see the two little red dashes where I put my stop. So I seen the double top just like this, and I went, yeah, that looks good. And I know gold likes to do its little trends. So I sold right there. Then once we broke through this shit right here, okay, I added on with another one and here was the targets but it be, <laughs> I'm not used to trading gold okay like I usually trade the Nasdaq and you know how not how the freaking Nasdaq is like a yo-yo so you know the, the Nasdaq would have bounced up and down up and down how many freaking times in this move right it very rarely sells off you know, the NASDAQ, like that quick, just straight down. Even though I'm making a liar out of myself because it just, it just did it. Let me show you. See, it just did it. <laughs> anyway, okay, back to gold. So anyway, I had my take profits there. If I would have waited another just few minutes, see, my, my patience got to me. It, it came down like 
like from the top, you know, it came down like 85 points at this at this point right here. But look, look, 115 points that came from the top. Isn't that a mystery? Another 100, 100 point runner down. Isn't that, isn't that strange? And on the NASDAQ, it went up 100? Oh, it's not strange. It's manipulated. That's what it is. Anyway, I done good today. I done this trade and no other trades. And that was it for that. It was beautiful. Okay, and we're back to uh, these charts again. So, like I said, there was a good trade here to sell. Right there. Stop would have been only 20 points, and it went down 99 points from your entry point. Then we had the pound yen. Right here. Low and lower low. Went up 24 points on the pound yen, or pips. And you had 24 pip stops. So it just made that. And then we had hard to see divergence right here. Okay. Somewhere in there. And put the little doodah right there. Could have sold it here. Stop would have been 20 points. It only went down 18. Ah! Yeah, so it didn't quite hit our target. <coughs> Jeez. Talking too much and those freaking loogies are coming up, sticking to my vocal cords. Okay, okay. Anyway, so we have so many lines here, I'm going to remove them, okay? Well, this one I'm going to go like this. And this one, yeah, I guess I'm going to go like. No, that's not right. <laughs> it looks right, but it's not right. Or, no, 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 that is right. See, sometimes I look at these hidden divergence ones and they and they don't look right but this one's right yeah yeah you go back when you when you're gonna have a, a retracement and then a continuation this one goes from the the low down and this one goes from the low up yes that's divergence i had to think about it sorry that's the, what happens sometimes with the hidden divergence the easy divergence setups are the low and lower low and the high and the higher high. They're the easiest ones to trade, but you got to realize that those are both counter trend divergence setups, okay? And if you want to trade with the trend, okay, the hard to see divergence is the setup for that, okay? So anyway, if you would have got long here, it went up about 60 pips on the pound yen. Okay, let's take a look at the euro yen quickly. Uh, yeah, there's the trade right there. It's sticking out at us like a sore thumb, just like that. All right, buy there, up it goes, 40 points on the euro yen. That was a nice one. And the last instrument of today, the pound dollar. And it's shit. <laughs> ah, they chop people up today. Right from 8 o'clock. See that? Right here was 8 o'clock. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. See that shit? I'm not marking anything on that shit. That's just a pile of poop. Ah, oh, yeah. They love to do that to people. They just do. We did have a trade in the UK session. Double top right here. Okay. 
or a higher high, whatever you want to call it. See, and that goes from here down to here somewhere. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, from there. Yep. Oh, even even lower. From there to there. Oh, I went too far. Whatever. From there, you, you, you can see the divergence, right? So you, you would have got short. This is in the UK session. Right here. Your stop would have been up here, only 13 pips. It went up against you around 7 pips. And then it came down almost 50 pips. That was good. Anyway, there was no divergence right here, low and lower low, because this low is lower than this low, to do a buy here anyway. So, And then it just turned into crap, and they just kept selling off the main pivot. You know, what, you know what I find really strange is that the price is off, okay? Um, oh, no, well, this is the pound. That's right. It's not off. It's right on. It's because it's currency. It's the CFFs. What the hell do they call those things? CFDs. It's the CFDs is where the freaking price is way off. Like anywhere from 50 to 150 pips, man. Or points or whatever you're trading. In case you didn't know that, now you know it. Okay, anyway, once again, this is Jason from Divergence Trading. I hope you learned something today. I hope uh, that you liked the video. And uh, if you could please uh, do me a, a favor here. These, you know, these videos are free and I'm giving you all my great knowledge. You know, if you could, you know, hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, can you please subscribe? I would appreciate it. Anyway, Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, good luck and good trading.